Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I received a letter, yes, a snail mail letter from someone named Ralph Willits. Ralph told me that he's retired and he's now getting into what he called amateur calligraphy. And in his letter, he sent me this sample, of course, it's my last name, and he was asking me if I knew of a way that he could mask out the background so he could take whatever he wrote and drop it onto another image. But the kicker was he uses On One Photo Raw 2021. I tried numerous ways to mask out the background on this sample he sent me using On One Photo Raw 2021, and I couldn't do it effectively. If there's anyone out there that knows how to do it, feel free in the comments below to um, share how it's done. I would definitely like to learn how to do it and I would like to help Ralph accomplish it in the application he wants to use. In the meantime, I'm going to show how you could do it in Photoshop. It really is very easy to do in Photoshop. Now what I would do is scan it in a flatbed scanner like I did here. And I have this, I scanned it as a TIFF. It could be a JPEG, but I scanned it as a TIFF. Now I'm going to crop it. I'm going to get rid of as much of that background as possible by cropping it. So I'm going to get the crop tool and I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure that I'm deleting crop pixels. Make sure you do that. And I'm just going to pull it in real tight to the lettering. Again, I'm just going to make it as easy as possible to get rid of the background around the lettering by getting rid of as much of the background as possible. So I got that and I'm going to click the check mark. Now again, make sure you do or you check that box, delete crop pixels. So we're going to do that. And now we have our cropped image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit command plus on my keyboard a couple times. It's control plus on a PC. All right. I have this. Now I'm going to just duplicate the background layer by hitting command or control J. I'm just doing that because that's good kind of Photoshop practice. So I'm going to turn off that background layer now and we have this layer. Now I mentioned it's very easy to do in Photoshop. There's a tool in Photoshop which will do this automatically. Uh, it's called the Magic Eraser. If you hit the E key on your keyboard, you'll get the Eraser tool. But inside of this little tool, if you click and hold with the left mouse button, you'll see that there's three different types of eraser. And we want that last one, Magic Eraser. Then what you want to do is go up at the top at the tool attributes. Tolerance of 32 is the default tolerance. Try it at that. See if that works. Keep anti-alias checked. Make sure contiguous is not checked. All right, and you don't have to sample all layers in this instance. Just take that eraser and click anywhere on the background. So I'm going to click right there. Bam. <laughs> I got rid of it. So now um, there's maybe a little mark here. You could see maybe some little places that it missed. If that happens, go to that eraser cubby again and get the actual regular eraser tool. And you could come in and if it missed anywhere, you could just clean up where it missed you know, maybe there, maybe there, but go around. You could, you know, look more closely, zoom in by hitting command or control plus several times. You could zoom back out by hitting control, command or control minus. You could fit it to screen by hitting command or control zero and it will fit it to screen. So you could do that. Now, once that's done, you could get the move tool and you could just grab it and drag it onto another image, go up to the tab that the image is on. And you could just drag it wherever you want and drop it on any image you like. So that's how easy it is to do in Photoshop. Again, uh, Ralph was specifically asking me how to do it in On One Photo Raw 2021, and I couldn't do it. So if anyone knows of a good way, uh, let us all know. Uh, I'd be interested to know. Um, I mentioned that Ralph wrote me. He mailed me a letter. Um, my address is available on my website. But I want to say something, Ralph was very kind. He sent me a check. You don't have to pay me to ask me how to do something. It's not required. But I am very grateful to Ralph that thank you very much uh, for, you know, sending me a check. I do appreciate it. But if you ever do email me or contact me, you don't have to pay me. I just want to put that out there. But I do appreciate it. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.